Welcome back, everybody. In this video, our focus is going to be lesson number nine. In lesson number nine, we're going to learn about a couple of new notes and as well as a couple of new concepts. So let's begin. In lesson nine, our first note is G. G we've already learned before, so we're just going to skip that one and go right to the first new note. And that's going to be on the second measure. Our first new note is A or La in solfege. A is going to be on the third string. We're going to use our second finger to press down on it and we're going to use our middle finger to play it. A is on the second fret of the third string. Right there. The next note is B or C in solfege. B is on the second string. It is open so we don't have to press down on it and we're going to use our index finger to play it. That's B. Our next note is C. C is on the second string. We're going to use our first finger to press down on it, and we're, we're going to play it with our middle finger. C is on the first fret of the second string. Right there. And our final note is D. D is on the second string. We're going to use our third finger to press down on it, and we're, we're going to play it with our index finger. D is on the third fret of the second string. And those are our new notes. Now, the first concept I would like you to understand is the concept of octaves. Now, you will no notice, you will have noticed, you should have noticed, that we now know two different Cs. This C and this C. As well as two different Ds. D and D. Those are octaves. The, dis the, the distance between these two C's is the distance of an octave. We call those intervals. So the first interval you're going to learn about is the interval of an octave. Okay. If we were to count through the musical alphabet, we'd end up at a count of eight, which is why they're called octaves, right? C, D, E, F, G. After that, the musical alphabet starts over. A, B, and C. Octave. <clears throat> now, why are they both called C? And, and, and how is that? How, how are they related? I mean, they must be if they're both called C, right? Well, when you play this C, you are producing, a, the guitar is producing a sound at a specific frequency. When you play an octave higher, this C, you are producing a sound that is double the frequency of this C. And that's why they're related and that's why we call them both C's. <clears throat> the other concept that I would like you to learn about is the concept of first position. So in first position, all we mean to say is that our index finger, our first finger here, is in charge of all of the notes on the first fret. Our middle finger, or our second finger I should say, is in charge of all the notes on the second fret. Our third finger in charge of all the notes on the third fret and our pinky is going to be in charge of all the notes on the fourth fret first position if we move our thing if our move our hand over to fifth position okay all we're saying is our first finger is going to be in charge of all the notes on the fifth fret our second finger will be in charge of all the notes on the sixth fret so on and so forth now the reason i mention this in this video is because up until this point you may have started to use the numbers in the lessons, in the lessons as a reference to where the notes are, right? If you saw one, you probably are like, okay, first fret. Or two, you saw, you, um, if you saw two, I don't think, I think this is the first time we're using our first finger. Yeah, so if you saw two, you said to yourself, okay, that's second fret. If you saw three, you said to yourself, okay, that's third fret. Now, that's not bad, that's fine. It's, it's, it's not a big deal. You're learning how to play. But technically, if you remember, those numbers are for your fingers. We just happen to be playing in first position, so the number coincides with both the finger you use as well as the fret that it's on. But in the future, when we start to play notes up here, you're still going to see one, you're still going to see two, you're still going to see three, but they're not going to mean the first fret, the second fret, the third fret, right? They're going to mean first finger. And if you're in whatever position you're in, it means it's going to be on that particular fret. So just keep that in mind 
and be very mindful of the fact that those numbers are the fingers, all right? Let's go ahead and play Lesson 9 together. That's everything I needed to introduce to you. And then we can move on to lesson number 10. Lesson number 9, on the count of four, follow the fingers for the right hand. Always, always, always important. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. 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 And one, two, three, four. One last time through the notes. G, A, B, C, D, C. See you all in lesson number 10.